Is your Android device Google Certify? Of course, you can go to Play Store right now, Settings, and scroll down to Google Certification, Device Certification to check. Do you know that your Android device can move from being Google Certified to Uncertified? I've done a video on how to permanently fix that, but what I haven't told you, which I will do in this video, is what is Google Device Certification, how it's very, very important for your security, and why many apps like Netflix, uh, DSTV Now, Google Pay, many banking apps will not function properly if you do not have the state of your device to be Google Certified. So come with me, let's go check this out. Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot, and I'm excited to talk about something that I've brought a lot of people to this channel in recent months, uh, Android device not being Google certified. So I've done a video about that. If you're here and you want to watch how to permanently fix that, you can click on the cards right now to watch that video. But today I'll be talking about Android device certification and how does it affect your Android and what can cause it and how to avoid that. So if you're not rooted and you're facing this problem, chances are that you may not be able to solve it. Chances are you may be able to solve it. So you have to watch this video till the end. Um, this video will be in a sequel. I'll talk about Android smartphones now. In the, in the second sequel, I'll talk about smart TVs and Android TV. Many people mix it together. A smart TV is not necessarily an Android TV. So before I talk about device certification, I'll have to move in quickly and give you a little history of Android and how Google came in in terms of managing Android, buying over Android, and being able to you know keep the security of Android uh, OS up to date and all stuff like that. Is Android free? Yes, Android is a free software. It's an open source software. It's a free software, and the source code is managed by the Android open source project AOSP. So, but you see now Google bought over Android and then they now handle the commercial aspect of Android whereby they have to put in their proprietary software on top of Android, which is uh, primarily the Google mobile services that involve some frameworks that they put in for security on the system. And then also some of the core services that Google provides uh, in Android like the Google Play Store and other Google apps that they put into the Android for commercial purposes. So for device mic makers uh, to use this, they have to contact Google, go through the CTS profiling, GTS profiling before their device will now be certified to be <laughs> a Google certified device. So it probably shouldn't have caused any problem at all because you can still sideload apps in Android, even the ones that are not certified. But the problem is that a lot of important apps now, now keep their security or depend on Google for security when it comes to their app. Apps like Netflix right now will not work on a phone that is not Google certified. Uh, so is DSTV now, many bank apps, Google Pay. A lot of pay apps will not work at all. And people don't know this until they run into the problem and they're like, oh, ah, how do I solve this? To solve this problem, you have to know the root cause. Now, I've seen people who have bought phone cheaper because it's a Chinese version. Um, uh, it's a Chinese model, like from Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, Realme. And then you're like, okay, let me pick the Chinese version. It's cheaper. But what you don't know is that Google is banned in China. So every model, Chinese model of any Android phone do not have Google uh, proprietary software installed in needs out of the box. So that means even if you find a way to install Google Play Store or sideload it or any other thing, the device will be Google Play uncertified. So be careful about that because many people will like pick a cheaper version of phone and oh, this is a cheaper version of this, this, uh, all this Chinese brand everywhere, manufacturing plenty phone. It's like, oh, let me pick the Chinese version. But then when you now come to using it, that's where you start seeing this Google not certified, Google uh, Android not certified. So that's the first root of it. So if you have that, there is no other way you can change that one apart from routing, uh, unlocking bootloader, flashing custom recovery like TWROP, and then routing and using magic or to hide it or flashing a custom kernel that will hide uh, that uncertified at kernel level. It's a little bit difficult and tricky.
Then on the other hand now, once you unlock your bootloader, uh, Google Play Store will flag the phone as uncertified. Now this is based on security because they feel like the security of the phone has been compromised because if you unlock bootloader, you can load another system, you can flash another custom recovery, the system can be tampered with. In fact, you cannot tamper with the system without unlocking the bootloader. So you have to have a lock bootloader to do that. So it doesn't even require routing or flashing anything. If you're on a stock ROM and somehow your bootloader is unlocked, of course, the kernel will flag it and then Google Play Store will now say that your device is not certified. You haven't even rooted. If you also root without hiding, uh, like using magics to hide, it will also show that. Then, so you see, some people might be in a situation whereby they have a China phone, they have a phone that somebody has used before, they don't know what has happened, the system might have been tampered, and then it comes up like that. So, if you have unlocked bootloader, it will be device uncertified. If you are rooted, device uncertified. If you flash custom recovery, device uncertified. Then there are still another people who see themselves they are using a certified device, but the device is showing not certified. In that case, maybe something happened and there's a Google Play Store or Play Services update and somehow something happened and the device is seen as not certified. You can download the CTS profile checker from Play Store and check. If your CTS profile is passed, then you just go into the Google Play Store app, you know, clear app data probably clear play services app data restart your phone and your certification will be returned to normal so this is very very important if you're buying a new android phone if you're buying a phone from somebody if you're getting a phone that somebody have used it's so simple you just go to play store make sure there is internet connection go to play store tap on the three uh, bar menu at the top left then go to setting and scroll down 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 and then check Play Store certification. If the device is uncertified, then you're going to have problem using some apps like Netflix, uh, DSTV Now, Google Pay, a lot of banking apps and stuff like that. So make sure you check that. This should be very, very critical as you're getting a new Android phone. So um, there is a temporal fix that people say you go to GS, GSFI and register it. Even if you go to that website from Google and register it, um, it will still not change the uncertified state. So to change that is that you have to find a way to either reflash the phone back to the original OS and relock the bootloader. That's the way it changed. If you cannot deal with routing, but if you are technical enough, you can actually root and flash Magic's, uh, uh, <laughs> Magic's model and it will be able to root your phone, hide it, and also you'll be able to still use your device as Google certified. But if you find yourself in this situation, so these are the things you can do. Let's talk about, I'm talking about phones, smartphones, Android smartphones only. So make sure you click on the subscribe button because I'll talk about smart TVs and Android TVs and I'll talk about TV box sticks and Android Auto. So if you're having your problem in your smartphone, if it is Chinese version, there is no temporary solution for you. If your phone is a China version, there's no temporary solution for you because by out of the box, your phone wasn't ever Google certified. So all you have to do is to find a way to unlock the bootload of the phone, root the phone and flash Magix uh, Zip so that you can actually hide your uh, bootloader status and make your device go back to certify. So if you're using a phone that is by default certified and is now going to uncertify, you might have to go and look for where they will reflash your ROM. Now that will probably wipe everything. When they reflash it and take it back to stock and Google uh, Play Store will be able to see it as certified. If that hasn't happened, then you might have to relock the bootloader and you go back to certify. So that is one of the key solutions. Any other solution, temporal is, is not going to work. It's just a temporary thing, so I won't bother to talk about that. But if you are sure that your bootloader is locked and your device has not been tampered on, then you might just try to clear Play Store data and Play Services data and then maybe uninstall updates and stuff like that, refresh it, reboot the phone, and then your phone should be able to come back to device certified and make sure you subscribe so that you can get notification when i do the follow-up sequel of this video so until we we'll see you next time stay safe stay smart and be the best you can subscribe i'll see you